structures, beautiful artistic things can be created. And these young ladies have surpassed the beauty test. The stuff is magnificent and you'll be able to see some. So I've had the pleasure of being invited here along with Brian Silverman and Artemis Papert, Margaret Minsky, and Oliver Steele, and we've learned a lot. That's what I love about working with creative individuals like these girls. I learn. Um, I, I kind of teach them things, but mostly I learn things. And um, I did. I learned some things about turtle art I didn't know, and they showed me. So I was very excited. My name is LaShawn Hubert, and uh, I will be talking about my creative turtle art that it's named Sly Worm. So I changed for the, the normal one, it was green, but I changed mine to a blue because my favorite color is blue. So it turned out to this. And you can change the fill screen to any color like red, blue, green. Or purple. Hi, my name is Kayanta Bailey and I'm going to be showing you my turtle art designs. So I'm going to change the color to A2. change the background and you can change the inside. So I'm Artemis Papert. I've been invited here in Jamaica by the Muslim Foundation to help in the Code, uh, girls can code camps and the idea of the camps from my understanding is to encourage girls to get more familiar with technology to learn that technology is not just for boys there's no reason why a girl is not able to learn how to code to not able to use a computer do all these things that maybe in some cultures it is believed to be that's boys that can only do that I'm a girl I cannot do that and in this camp, we've been, for the last three days, we've been working with a software that's called Turtle Art. And Turtle Art is a software that is made for exploring, making art through coding. And the reason why it's a good idea to learn some coding is that's a good skill to have in life. It's, you know, I'm running into a problem, how do I solve it? The problem seems way too big to start with. But if I know how to make, cut it out in smaller chunks, then maybe each chunk becomes manageable and at the end I've solved all my problem. That's what coding teaches you. Even if you're not going to become a professional programmer, it's a good skill to know.
Oh, hello. My name is Dina K. Johnson. Um, I live in Makaga Gardens down here. And right now I'm on Turtle Art. I created these on Turtle Art. It was a lot of work, but I kind of like the coding camp also because the teachers are very nice. I'm learning how to create art with a program because I really like art. And I'm having fun at the same time. Now, this is what I call Turtle Illusion. My first name. This is Angels. They just look through my slideshow and see all that I made. 